Prison Parish, we've learned 10 young inmates were transferred this morning from the Bridge City Center for Youth. They're now at a temporary juvenile facility on the grounds of Angola Prison. The goal is to, tran to transfer is to help relieve pressure on the understaffed center, which has seen multiple escapes and a riot this year. About an hour ago, we talked to State Senator Pat Connick, who represents Bridge City. He believes this is a positive development. It's come to this where the, the Bridge City facility has to shut down. Uh, get these juveniles moved out into a facility where they can hopefully be rehabilitated. The whole goal of juvenile justice is not to punish, but to rehabilitate. Taking this step of moving those who have caused trouble into the system out to um, out of the system and into Angola where they are, have better control is going to help everybody. It's going to help Bridge City. It's going to help the West Bank, the East Bank, and the whole entire area around here. Uh, so it's a long time coming and, and I welcome the move. The state renovated the part of Angola the teens were taken to. Yesterday we got our first look at the facility. Activists and families of the teens have sued the state. They say being housed at one of the country's most notorious prisons will traumatize the teens. More will be moved soon. Governor John Bell Edwards previously said about two dozen Bridge City inmates would be transferred to Angola total about half of the population at Bridge City.